Good evening and welcome back to the special edition of Thai PBS World. I'm Tep Chai Yong and Kunata Kumon Wa Tin. We are still following the House debate that will decide Thailand's political future. The debate in the House has been going on for more than seven hours now. It started at yes. 11 a.m. and there are still no signs when the parliamentarians will agree to a vote that we choose the next prime minister. And it looks like uh, Kun Chulik Pai, the House Speaker, who is uh, performing his duty as the President of Parliament, will not impose any time limits on the ongoing debates. So it's very likely that uh, the debate will continue to drag on late into the night before they will eventually settle down for a vote. <laughs> yes. In fact, at the beginning, we thought that perhaps it will be finishing at 5 p.m. But then some MP has motioned that it should be carry on and then Kun Chuan said it can be extended for more two hours and if the two hours finish it means that the debate has to finish at seven o'clock but as of now we still haven't seen the signal that it will be finishing soon. No, so it, looks, it looks like the, the MPs especially those on the Pur Thai led camp are content with the debate I mean continuing I mean, with no limits, mm -hmm. and uh, because they see this as the platform I mean, to really uh, convey their message, especially their criticism of uh, General Pujutan Ocha, the one of the two candidates for prime minister. But in fact, the past seven hours, when I mean, we have been hearing mostly criticisms and attacks on General Pujut. In fact, it, the debate is supposed to be a, a platform for the supporters of both candidates, Prayut Chan Ocha and Thanathon Ching Dung Dung Kit, to say about the good things uh, of the people, they of, the, of the candidate they support. But it sounds like uh, the speakers, even uh, those from the Pur Thai led camp, have spent most of their time not saying why Thanathon is fit to be the prime minister, but they spend most of their time attacking Prayut saying why he was not suitable or not qualified to be Prime Minister again. Yes, and there are some points that MPs from Palang Prasharat Party has stood up and debate on the good side of Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha as well. So it's like countering balance debate in a way. And at some point, senators also stood up to present the case why it's important to have senator in this process of voting okay. for Prime Minister. Okay. Before we go into detail as to what has transpired in the house, uh, now we have a special guest I mean, to give us an, an insight into uh, what the, the debate today is like, and especially why the Democrat Party, yes. I mean, suddenly, I mean, has come up with a resolution yesterday, I mean, to support uh, the Palang Pacharat Party and to vote for General Puyut Chandrasha today. Yes. So let's now connect with Kun Brin Panichapak. Deputy Leader of the Democrat Party, if the line is ready, please transfer Kun Prin to the studio so we can chat with him live, what's really going on and what his sentiment toward seeing this house debate. Yeah. Kun Prin, of course, a newcomer in the political scene and the Democrat Party certainly is a very crucial factor mm -hmm. in the success of the Palang Pacharat Party's attempts to form a coalition government and of course, crucial to General Pujut Nocha being voted back mm. as Prime Minister. Mm. Yes, and yesterday evening, we heard the decision by the Democrat Party, and it turned out that they decided to join Palang Pracharat camp, 61 to 16 vote, yeah. after long hours, after many hours meeting within the party and it was the decision that Thai people would like to hear what's the final decision from the party. And of course the, not everyone in the party agreed with the, the stand, especially Kundapisit Vecha Chiva, the former party leader who decided to call it quits this morning, saying that he could not force himself to vote for General Bayut Chan Ocha. Yes. There was many expected scenario about Kun Abisit since last night we heard the decision from the Democrat Party whether he would announce the resignation in the parliament. But today, this morning, he decided to do so of having his own press conference outside the parliament. 
กุ้งอภิสิทธิ์ insisted that he could not betray his conscience because his stand has been very clear from the very beginning that he's not in support of General Pujol a n o c h a Yes. And so he said he rather, I mean, sacrifice himself. Yes. I mean, call it quits than declaring support for General p u j o Yes. At one point, I don't know whether he would like to make it a joke or anything, but he said he would like to recommend a book for Thai people to read again. <laughs> It's Animal Farm. Yes, right. The a very famous novel by George Orwell yes. about a group of uh, animals in the farm that yes. uh, stage a revolt against uh -huh. a farm owner. Uh, but in the end, I mean, the same groups of animals mm -hmm. themselves turn out to be as tyrant. Tyrannic as the the farm owners uh, himself. Mm. Yes, it's quite ironic because this very same book was recommended by General Prayut Chan o c h a last week, and it was being debated a lot in Thai society. And today, this morning, Kun Abhisit recommend again that Thai people should read this book. Now, Kun p r i n is ready, so let's connect with Kun p r i n p a n i c h a p a k Deputy Leader of the Democrat Party. Kun p r i n Sawadika. ครับสวัสดีครับคุณฟิน you are now with Thai PBS World what's your reaction in following the debate among the MPs and senator today well I I, I was hoping um, um, to see a, a constructive uh, reason and I think a lot of people at home the Thai population was hoping that we would see a swift uh, prompt vote of Um, supporting the new prime minister because I understand the country has been going through um, some tough economic time, and I think the country needs to see a new government being formed as soon as possible in order to execute and implement under key economic policy. So I was hoping that yes, while it is constructive to allow the time for both sides to um, say the things about each candidate. I was hoping that uh, we would see a more swifter um, voting process, and then things would get done by the end of today. Um, it looks like it may not be that way, but let's see. Uh, now it seems like the the MPs spend most of their time attacking the past records of uh, Kun p a y u t more than talking about what the future vision of the candidates will be. Well, I, I, I think that's always been the tactic. You know, how shall we say, political game that the opposition um, parties um, was always going to play. Um, I, I think um, Kun p a y u t and his party Palang um, Pasarat was uh, prepared for this uh, to hear this. Um, I, 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 and I think that it is expected, and, and maybe partly it's fair for both sides to air their views, their concern, and goods on the bad side or the um, kind of what are the challenges uh, that we have seen in the last few years. But also, I was hoping for a more uh, constructive comment uh, from the opposition, uh, which is seem to be lacking at the moment. Yes, yes. Uh, Kumprin, and right now, perhaps the voting for the new prime minister will be happening soon. And is it still conclusive that the Democrat will be voting for General Prayut Chan o c h a Yes, it, 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 it looks like it will be that way because uh, last night, uh, as you know, the, the party, the Democrat Party, had a had a long meeting yesterday to discuss uh, whether we would uh, accept the invitation by the Palang Pasarat Party um, to join the government, which obviously Palang Pasarat has uh, General Bayut as the candidate for the prime minister. So, with the party's vote last night, uh, in quite a convincing ma uh, manner, to Uh, accept the invitation to join the formation of a new government. Um, the party members um, have accepted um, the, the, the party resolution, and therefore will be voting um, for the candidacy of um, Prime Minister b a y u t um, for the second term in office. I see. So you expect every one of the Democrat MPs to toe the party line, right? Well, 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 yes. I, I think it's always been the case that you know the Democrat Party internally can always individually have can allow to have um, different independent uh, views, opinions, and voices. And I think over the last few days and weeks, you have heard those differences uh, being aired, aired out both in public to the press, as well as on their personal social me social media platforms, as well as at the party meetings. And, and last night, official meetings of the joint. 
between the member of parliament, the 53 members of parliament of the Democrat and the executive committees. Um, you, you heard those uh, different views being aired. He seems to be fair in a very constructive manner, in a fair, open, and friendly atmosphere. You know, some press, I think, misreported that the atmosphere was aggressive or confrontational. It was nothing like that. Last night <laughs> and yesterday, throughout the whole afternoon, it was held in a very um, kind of constructive and kind of understanding mood of ones where, yes, there are differences, there are differences of views, yeah. but the views are being given out in a very, in a very constructive way. And, you know, the... And at the end of it, there was a vote, and I think it was convincing between mm-hmm. 61 versus 16 yeah. in accepting to join the government. And I think if the matter should end there, and Kuna uh, Fisic, that's why Suva obviously has taken a stand as the ex-party leader who has said that he would not accept General Bayouk as prime minister. Mm-hmm. He, he, offered his, and he offered to resign, and he's resigned um, from the member of parliament seat, and, and, and we have to accept that and move on. But did his resignation catch you by surprise? Well, I, I think people in the party were were somewhat surprised, but I think a few were not surprised. I think they knew that Queen I had said something during the election campaign, which he has to take responsibility for as a party leader, you know, because when he made that statement, obviously there was a few senior people within the party who disagree with his stand um, to come out in such a public way. But of course, as a leader, he has the right to make that decision whether he will take the responsibility for it. Uh, which he has done. So, 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 so that, I, I think it is a, a, a process um, and, and may not surprise uh, many people in the party that they, they were not too surprised. Yes. Kunprin, and in the capacity as the deputy leader of the Democrat Party, what do you like to recommend to the party to move forward from now on because of many fractions? We heard the news of the Young members of the party have already resigned. Kun Abisit also resigned as an MP. So, what would be the new direction of the party? Well, but, but to be fair, you know they, they have resigned. But I mean, the, 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 the party has always accept uh, differences of opinion, and and this time around, the resignations come from uh, some of the younger, um, 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 how do you say, younger generations of the. Uh, future politicians, but they have not been elected into the member of parliament. Okay, nevertheless, uh, of course, they are valuable members of our of our team, of our party. And Kuna Pichit himself, obviously, is the most valuable one, having been prime minister and the ex leader of the party. Um, Kuna Pichit is staying on, I'm sure, to help the parties at the role he would see fit uh, in the near future. And I hope he will stay on as a party member. So the rest uh, have resigned. Mm. I can understand that they may want to take a certain view from political stance. But I think um, there are times I think that most, actually, most different factions, you know, who have fought in the light Lotus leadership uh, campaign that Kunjurin eventually won. And you have Kunjurin and um, the Secretary General, uh, Chai Si Yong, being elected. Often there are some lasting linger changes um, that things to calm down. So often there is a gap to be set for first before things can be smoothly uh, transferred on to work together in a efficient way. And I think those differences are being slowly kind of settled down and moving on. And I hope, I think, the Democrats are the reason why they are genuinely uh, really wanting to be a part of this co- coalition government, mm-hmm. uh, because they genuinely feel that they're putting the interests of the people in the country first, in the sense that the key message is that the member of parliament and the ex-member of parliament, as well as the candidates who failed to get elected, they keep hearing from the population in their constituency. It's the fact that they chosen or they voted for the Democrat. They want the Democrat to go in and solve the economic problem. They know the Democrat Party, when they are in government, is capable of solving some of the issues of economic uh, trouble mm-hmm. that we are facing, whether it's a low agricultural prices, whether it's inequality, whether it's on education, on the, um, the, the commerce ministry that's looking after a few key issues, so public welfare. Some of the things are, you know, the hallmarks of the strength of the Democrat Party with capability of the human resources, the capital to go in and, and help uh, the mm-hmm. country. So, so I think we find too hard. I think my advice, and I'm sure everyone who's a true Democrat Party would, would look forward to working um, hard for the longer term betterment mm-hmm. of the country and the well-being of the population at large. And I think that's what the country yeah. aims to do. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you very much, Kun Brin Panichapak, for joining us. Okay.
Uh, thank you, Kun Prin. So, ขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับ So that was k u n Prin p r a c h a p a k a a deputy leader of the Democrat Party. Now let's go back to the House debate. Yes. On the screen right now is the activist turned politician, k u n Rangsiman Rom. If we remember him, he was one of the activists who campaigned. Very actively against the military following the coup d'état in 2014, and now he is a member of parliament. Yes, and of course he's speaking uh, against General Prayuth Chan Ocha return as returning as prime minister. Yes, it's the turn of the Future Forward Party to have a debate about why. On the qualification of the two candidates, and of course they will have to focus on why. t h n a t h o n Jing Rung Rungit is suitable to be prime minister, and being quite critical of General Prayut Chan Ocha as prime minister candidate. So the past seven hours heard uh, speeches, remarks, and protests. I mean, over who between the two mm -hmm. candidates, General Prayut and t h n a t h o n is is uh, more suitable to be the next prime minister. Yes. And And we, if we look back to this morning, it turned out to be quite fast. Kun Thep Chai, especially during the moment that they proposed the two names as prime minister candidates. So let's take a look again what happened this morning. And again, the uh, MP, s m a c h i k s a b h a so that a vote can be called. Yes. So, on the screen right now is the proposal of the two names this morning, raised by Mr. Natapon t i p s u w a n from the Parliament. The MP s u p p o r t this name. Raise their hands. And then Miss s i n o n from Future Forward Party proposed the name of t h a n a t h o n Jing Rung Rung Git, the leader of the Future Forward Party. So is the rest between t h a n a t h o n and General Prayut for the top political post? And then MP s r a i s e their hands to support the candidate. Of the candidacy of t h n a t h o n Jing Rung Rung Git, so it turned out to be battle for premiership between General Prayut Chan O Cha and t h n a t h o n Jing Rung Rung Git from Future Forward Party. So now let's uh, return to the House debate because it looks like the president of the the session is weighing the uh, suggestion from one of the MPs that. The debate uh, be called off so that a vote can be taken. But it looks like uh, a lot more MPs <laughs> have lined up I mean, yes. to speak, so yes. it's very unlikely at this moment that uh, the debate will be uh, suspended or will be closed. So we'll have to see whether the president right now, who are who is senator, house speaker. Speaker of Senate, yeah. p o n p e t v i s i t c h o l a t h a i is now making a decision whether the debate should be carrying on. Mm. Yeah, should should be a certain numbers of MPs are lining yeah, up. So. so, during the debate, there was uh, a time when the, there were attempts by the p e r t h a i l e t camp uh, to convince the House Speaker Kun Chuan to allow. t h n a t h o n Jing Rung Rung Git and to request General p a y u t a n o Cha to come to the session to outline the visions as Prime Minister, but the idea was shot down uh, in the yes. end. So there was no session for these two candidates to present their views. Uh -huh. But k u n t h n a t h o n Jing Rung Rung Git managed to yes. have a show of his own, right? <laughs> yes. So let's take a look at what happened early afternoon. This afternoon, when k u n t h n a t h o n Jing Rung Rung Git. Have presented his own vision outside the parliament. Uh, 
ว่าถ้าหาผมเป็นนายกรัฐมนตรีท่านเซตอิสพิตีแต่ดีวอสน์กิฟน A chance to present his vision to the parliament. So he so he have need to have a show of his own outside the parliament uh, session. Then yes, he seems highly determined and quite well prepared in terms of content because he have outlined what he would like to propose if he to become prime minister. And he talk about Thailand is in transforming. Is in transition period to the digital economy, and what should the country do in order to cope with the new change economically? The t o n vow to be a prime minister for change. He said there is a strong there is a strong need for Thailand to adapt to challenges at the international level, and that he will take the lead. In changing the country, and he said he will be a prime minister who will take Thailand forward. Mm -hmm. And then he outlined a series of things that uh, that he intends to do if he becomes prime minister, mostly uh, in areas that he said Thailand is need to do some catching up. Yes, especially I mean, in terms of technology, in mm -hmm. terms of uh, improving the various aspects of the economies to make the. Things in Thailand, I mean, on par with uh, the, the changes that are taking place. Yes, interestingly, and we got some images during the press conference, during the vision presentation of Kun t h a n a t h o n A group of MPs from Future Forward Party, from the Democrat Party, were looking up at him, were looking down at him, yeah. because they were at the stairs and looking at Kun t h a n a t h o n It, it was quite a sight because it's very unusual for someone mm -hmm. to do things like this yes. in the parliament. Yeah, looking mm -hmm. at the steps of the yeah. TOT office, and you could see these are the number of MPs. MPs mm -hmm. looking at him. g o t h a n a t h o n had hoped very much that he would be given a platform in mm -hmm. the house session to present his views. Hope yeah. and very confident that he would uh, outshine General p r a j u t if uh, there was. I mean, really, a, a session for vision to be presented. Mm. Yes. So it would be quite a scene if he could make presentation inside the parliament. But as he was not wasn't allowed, so he managed to do it outside the parliament session. Also, it seems many things going on. k u n t e p Chai outside parliament today, especially before k u n t h a n a t h o n It was k u n a p i s i t turn. Yeah. When he make a press conference regarding his resignation, so let's take a look. ประการแรกสิ่งที่ผมต้องทำคือกล่าวขอโทษพี่น้องประชาชนทุกคนที่ตัดสินใจเลือกพรรคประชาธิปัตย์ In fact, it was clear from last night that a p i s i t was going to make this decision because he was the one who spoke most strongly against uh, the Democrat Party joining the. พลังประชารัฐ uh, led coalition and supporting General p r a j u t Chan-o-cha as Prime Minister. He spent more than an hour yesterday, I mean, presenting his 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 point. So when the party eventually, I mean, uh, decided that it would uh, go ahead anyway to joining the พลังประชารัฐ led uh, coalition, w i s i t said, well. Let me make my own decision. Yes, <laughs> there were even motion or. Like proposal inside the party that perhaps that should be k u n a p i s i t shouldn't be asked to vote so that he don't have to betray his own words. But he said it will have to be his decision to protect his own words and to protect the Democrat Party. That's why he decided to resign. This morning, at one point, he said that he normally would respect the party stand of the party's resolution, but he stressed that uh, what is more important than party stand is the commitment to the public, mm -hmm. and he was certainly referring to the stand he took prior to the March 24 election when he yes. said that that yes. uh, he would not support General p a y u t h a n o c h a s return to power. Yes, and these are exactly the same spots of the steps that other MPs were looking at Kun a p i s i t why he was having his own press conference. You saw Kun a t i n c h a n v i l a k u n leader of Pum Jai Thai Party, yes. just a moment ago. And these are MPs of Democrat Party. 
จิตพัฒพิรมพักดีออร์นิกเนมตันเวลาเซนเทนส์ออฟคุณอภิสิทธิ์ว่า I would like to resign from MP but he still remain membership of the Democrat Party he will continue to be a member but it's still unclear what role he would assume from this point on whether he still play an active role in the party or simply be a member and then not get involved in any activities and this something remains to be seen Okay. Yeah, so that's at least two activity, two main activities happening outside the parliament today. No, in fact, it, this is to many observer. This is a clever move, because by resigning, a p i s i t has helped relieve pressure on the party. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the the social media, I mean today, a p i s i t received a lot of praises for 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 his decision. Mm -hmm. And uh, and in a way, he helped. I mean, lessen the the pressure, the impact that the party is uh, is facing. Yes, so he's the man who keep his words. Like right after he knew the outcome of the election on 24th of March, he resigned that night, and then again this morning. Yeah. So now let's uh, go back again to the house debate. คุณปารีนาไกรคุปเอ็มพีฟอร์มพลังประชาวัฒน์พาร์ทีฟอร์มราชบุรีโพสต์ขออนุญาตท่านประธานยกตัวอย่างนะคะ She has made quite a number of headlines I mean in past few days because of her outspokenness I mean Yes She did having his own Facebook her own Facebook live and then she refer to nickname of คุณพนิกาวานิ And it's become controversial mm. because she was quite critical yeah. of what the new MP yeah. should be doing, should be following the procedure of the parliament. She, cert she certainly has come, Kun Parina, has certainly come a long way in politics from the days when she was a beauty queen. <laughs> yes, many years yes. back. And she appeared in the news from now and then in different situations. And perhaps people are quite are watching this quite closely. What she is going to say and what she is going to do. Those who have spoken in support of Prajut uh, mostly commended him for his success in. Restoring peace and stability to mm -hmm. the country after years of political conflicts, they also uh, commended him. Like, uh, commended him for his vision in introducing a number of projects mm -hmm. that uh, put Thailand uh, on the springboard to become a country with uh, high technology in in many areas. Yes, and for his decisiveness. In attack, in in addressing many pressing economic and social issues, but of course uh, his critics, I mean those MPs from the other side, would fault him for what they call they see as it being dictatorial behavior. Mm -hmm. And just an hour ago, the, the spokeswoman of uh, the Future Forward Party, Kun uh, Panika Wanit, when pointed out that Kun uh, Prajut. Was caught lying many times about the election dates. Mm -hmm. She recalled that uh, Jeroba j u d made promises to a number of world leaders that elections would be held on such and such, such date, but ended up I mean, postponing the date. Mm -hmm. uh, and and as so much that uh, one of the leading economic magazines, The Economist, had uh, him on the co its cover uh, with a long nose. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it appears that uh, the Future Forward Party seems to have presented lots of information mm. to look at what General Prayut Chan O Cha has done from international perspective, and they try to present the case from international community when looking at Thailand and present the vision of Khun Thana Thorn as international mm. leader. But no. on the other hand, we see how the MPs from p u e t h a i also stood up to have debate against General Prayut quite a lot as well. 
ถ้าคุณประยุทธ์ can take comfort from the fact that he have a strong support base among the senators 250 of them which he hand pick through a appointment uh, to the selection process and certainly uh, even though uh, the senators who stood up to speak uh, tried to insist that they would not be under the influence of anyone but it can be safely assumed that uh, eventually when it comes to the, a, a, a vote they would raise their hands in his mm -hmm. favor mm. yes especially there were two leading senators like Kun Kamnoon Sitti Saman and Seri Suwan Panon they argue quite strongly what's the role of senators are uh, quite crucial in having their influence and having their role in voting for prime minister especially Kun Kamnoon has outlined importance of senator in which the constitution has Specify that senator will have the role in supervising the administrative management of the country, which will be run by the government. Mm. And senator will have to supervise that role. That's why he elaborated that it's important for senator to vote for prime minister as well, because prime minister will be the leader of management of governing the country. There were some uh, heated moments as well today <laughs> because uh, there were arguments on on the the timing of the of the remarks that uh, each of the MPs made, and then there were some points that were made that seemed to have offended uh, mm. the other side. So uh, MPs w uh, were engaged. I mean, at at on several occasions they were engaged in I mean counter arguments. And one of the moments uh, e erupted when Kun Seri Suwan Panon, I mean mm -hmm. one of the senators, spoke in support of General Bayu Jando Cha. And then he mentioned about the, the conflicts, the street protests. You remember uh, many, many years back when there was uh, the so-called red shirt uh, mm -hmm. street protest that, that ended up in, in violence with uh, fire breaking out in many in many spots in Bangkok and up country. And there were some of the MPs belonging to the Pua Thai camp that were not happy with the comments. And they, st and they stood up I mean, to, to argue with him. Mm -hmm. Yes. And one word that's coming out of Kun Seri Suwan Panon, perhaps we can say that it's word of the day. Let's take a listen. <laughs> ผมนิยมเผด็จการประชาธิปไตยครับแต่ไม่ได้นิยมพวกประชาธิปไตยจอมปลอมครับท่านประธานนิยมพวกประชาธิปไตยจอมปลอมครับท่านประธานนิยม
General Prayuth whether it would be 100% of 250 senators to be voting for General Prayuth Jan Ocha. And we can catch up with the sentiment among the social member, social media users today. It seems they are quite following the detail quite closely. And right now we have Kun Chalanthorn Yotha Samut, correspondent of Thai PBS World with us. So how's the sentiment <laughs> in it's the social media quite world? It's heated for social media world. Um, for, for both in, within Thailand trend and um, international trends, for the hashtag of the formation of the new government was in the top rank for both Thai search and then international search as well for Twitter. Mm -hmm. And interestingly for Thai search in, in Google's, the top five of the search mm -hmm. are also related to today's um, parliamentary broadcasting and uh -huh. the formation of the, mm. the, 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 the voting for the new prime minister. Okay. Yeah. okay, the traffic is heavy, but what about <laughs> the sentiments? <laughs> so the sentiment <laughs> mostly, man, many of them are quite uh, support the Future Forward Party MPs mm. and then the Pure Thai F uh, the anti military camp mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and quite against Halang Prasalat MPs. They follow up with every word when the MP is speaking, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. take it mm -hmm. to the court and share it a lot. Um, but somehow we also have to note that most of the social media users are the new and young generation. Okay, so yeah. I yeah. think they will we will see more of the more picture of the young generation are supported to mm -hmm. the, the future forward parties That's and it. Um, Pure Thai parties. Mm. And what about their feedback on Kun Apisit Gretachiva resignation? So they have both um, t both both side feedback. Some are quite pressed Kun Apisit in terms of okay. um, mm. his reaction mm -hmm. to, to today resignation. But some people said that he's not um, that cool in terms of some, some people expect that he will like resign from both MPs and then the, oh. the yeah. Prashatipat They members. believe he hasn't done enough. Yeah. 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 Still so a little bit of but criticism. But many of, yes. of them, even um, someone that against the Democrat also pressed for his mm. reactions today as well. But how do, they, how do most of the people in the social media find the contents of the House debate? Are they happy with things that, that are said in the, in the debate? Many of them are not quite happy, and, they, and they, one interesting tweet is that many of them saying that they never interested in Thai politics or in politics mm. before until today. Ah. <laughs> and many of them foresee that this is kind of a um, big, big play, big, yeah, big play. Uh, big, how can big I say? Theaters. Theaters. Big theaters. Big theaters. Uh, yes. So yes. They, they're kind of following up and have a, uh, of interesting feeling towards mm -hmm. watching yeah. this debate, even it takes already seven, seven hours. hours. Yeah. 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 People yeah. still keep follow up. And later there was a meme mm -hmm. sharing online. <laughs> some MP was sleeping mm -hmm. and some <laughs> funny quotes, for example, oh. um, the quote that we mentioned, the, the new terms of yeah. yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> dictatorial democracy. Mm. It's yes. word of the day today. So and it's in a way, it's very interesting to see how social media gets so much attention. And one, one interesting thing is for both media and, and perhaps Thai people, they predict or they can send, they kind of knowing that uh, General Bayut has a high stake on becoming another second term. Mm -hmm. So they have an activity is that betting on social media mm. that, okay, if he become a, if he not in the second term, they will give our money like 10,000 or they'll be doing <laughs> job for free. Oh. <laughs> so they kind of satire activities debate mm -hmm. online. So you mean that uh, the majority of the social media users are in favor of Kun yes. But deep down in their heart, they know that Kun mm -hmm. has very little chance of beating yes. Kun Payut, right? <laughs> so they, they have this kind of memes and, mm. and bets that mm. are around on, on Thai social media currently. Yeah. It's interesting that their attentive span lasts for several yeah. hours already and they are still gluing to TV, to social media yeah. to keep watching what's going on and in I the debate. And I think many people keep up with the, with the debates um, very closely and then they catch up the wordings and then mm -hmm. the action okay. of the 
the MPs in like in very e almost every single details that was shared mm -hmm. and changing or lie um, depending on uh, the topics that yeah. in the topic of debate in, in the see. parliaments. But are there any particular speakers in the debate that may attract more attention than the others? So they're quite cheering for the Kuntanathon um, press conference, yeah. press conference yeah, outside yeah, so and mm -hmm. then the, the quotes of Kuntanathon mm -hmm. mm -hmm. has been chaired a lot and um, s some of the Future Forward Party M MPs has been mentioned for example Kun Panika one yes. year's mm. speech About her was sharing was yeah. a lot and just awesome. recently mm. I think um, five minutes ago uh, the 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 opposite, the, the uh, one Kun yes. who okay. has a quarrel with, with Kun Panika, Panika, Panika. also Tra just come out for, for, okay. for, for her <laughs> debate and then on the social media they went by on yes. all this new <laughs> actor so coming out. Yeah. Yes. So even Kundanathan was not in the house but he still remained a main attraction oh, for and many yes, and, and one, users. And one thing right? that the social media mentioned and they are not quite happy is that the absence of Prime Minister, yes, in in the in the debate house. Yes, mm. this morning he has his official visit at uh, at the headquarters of government offices. It's just the opposite of TOT, but he didn't come up yes. yeah. at the parliament session. So close, and but so far away. Yes, <laughs> and finally, there's last interesting thing is that uh, I think the debate on the Senate roles mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. many people mentioned that they shouldn't have a role in terms of. Um, uh -huh. Raising the issues. I see. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, so this is what we find in the social media. Today. Yes. Mm. Yes. And it's very interesting. I think it's quite good education for Thai public as well mm. to learn about this democracy <laughs> of the house debate. Good. Now let's go back to the debate once again to see what has uh, transpired so far. Yes. So it's the debate still going on with the qualification of Prime Minister candidate. I not the the debate will continue for quite a while. The current one is Mr. Julapan Amon Vivat from Pure Thai Party. So the content must be quite critical of General Prayut Jan Ocha. So the winning candidate in this election needs to have the support of at least more than half of the, the simple majority of the two houses combined. That means uh, he needs to get at least 376 votes from the MPs and senators mm -hmm. to win the premiership. Yes. But to get support from Democrat Party and from Pum Jai Thai Party, it means it's confirmation, it's solid support for Palang Prasharat camp yeah. to have enough vote, more than 200. They have around 254 yeah. votes. Yeah. I think the last, the last uh, link, of course, of course, the Democrat Party which put everything in, in place yesterday. Yeah. And we don't have to mention the strong support from 250 senators. So it means that they can sell through having more than 376 support for General Prayut Jan Osha. But I think the the voting will be very interesting and people are looking forward to, to see, see that process because it's open process. It will be a vote by roll call. Yes. So each of the members of the parliament will be called by name. Yes. And then they will vote for the candidate of his or her choice. But the question is when the debate will be finished and then the vote will start to elect the new Prime Minister. Okay, 
So we don't know how much longer this will continue, but uh, it looks like uh, they will try to have this thing wrap up uh, by tonight. I mean, yes. So take a look at uh, the composition of the political camp led by Palang Pacharat. If this figure stand, uh, I mean, the, the, this group will be in command of a total of 254 MPs, enough mm -hmm. to get Kun Prayut voted as prime minister. Uh, but of course, I mean, you have always have the backup of the Senate. Yes. <laughs> so that's uh, an assured uh, base of support. So if you look at the number of the MPs alone, I think uh, Palang Pacharat is in is is safe in safe zone. In safe zone. <laughs> yeah. Yes, having more than two hundred and fifty. But to be exact, if we delete the name of Mr. Chuan Lik Pai because right now he's Parliament President, mm. so the number would have to be reduced to two hundred and fifty-three. Yeah. And then we have to Apisit reduce too. the number of Kun Apisit. Yeah, yeah. So it would will be two hundred and fifty-two MPs. The, but the the real Kingmaker will be members of the Senate anyway. Yes. Because that is the this, the safety valve for, for mm -hmm. General Prajut. But it looks like uh, it, it will not be needing the support of the, sen the senator as much as one once thought. Mm. It's because the 250 senators uh, will join the vote. Yes. And it's most likely that they will vote for General Prajut Jan Ocha. But I think the pattern of the vote will be interpreted and mm. will have implication whether 100% of 250 senators will mm. be voting for General Prayut and Osha and whether Palang Prasharat will have 252 votes yeah. as is expected. Because there have been a lot of talks about this so-called political cobra, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's the point whether some MPs will be bored to change their camp. Mm. So that remains to be seen. This term uh, is derived from one of the Aesop's uh, fables about the viper uh, who bites and kills the, the farmer who has saved uh, <laughs> his life. So this term has been used to describe MPs who defect from the party or mm -hmm. who defy their own party line and, and to side with the other camp or to vote for prime minister, I mean, on the other side of the, of, of the aisle. So, but uh, may, as things uh, develop, I mean, uh, it doesn't look like the Pramacharat party will be needing the support of the so-called political cobras yes, yes. anymore. So. But again, yesterday, if you remember, uh, the Future Vote Party held a press conference Yes. To talk about Yesterday, allegations yeah. that uh, mm -hmm. some of his MPs have been offered millions of baht, mm -hmm. I mean, to defect. That means that they want to, the, no names are mentioned, mm -hmm. but it's qu quite clear that uh, whom they were referring to, that these people were trying to use money to buy the real loyalty of the future forward party MPs. Yes. yes. And they had a press conference with Kuntanathorn that they've been approached to offer a large amount of money if they mm. change the camp to be voting for Palang yeah. Prasharat camp. Okay, we will continue to follow up uh, on the debate, but uh, we will take a break at, yes. this, uh, at this point and then we'll come back again when there are new developments. Mm. Yes, so we will say goodbye for now and mm. we will be back with more outcome, more wrap up. And hopefully things mm. will be clear before midnight. <laughs> yes, yes. So let's wait and see. For now, Kun Thep Chayong and Amnatha Gomonwatin have to say goodbye and we will okay. be back okay. shortly. Okay, okay. I'll see you later.